the homeowners out there, do y'all ever get into like repairing your own appliances and then you're like, oh man, I got to remove this, get this thing off. Oh, there's a hundred screws here, a hundred over here. Oh, got the whole back plate on. Oh, got to crawl in here just to see that over here. All for one little broken part here. And you're just like, dang, I'd rather just spend $400 on a whole new dryer. Yeah, me too. YouTube video show. Oh, you just remove four screws and, and you can get right to your front drum of the, of the dryer. Uh, not the one I bought, dude. Look at all these. There's more over there. And then for you appliance makers out here, and come on, get a little closer here. What's the deal with y'all making all kinds of sets of screws, you know? You're like, oh, I got a, I got a T20 right here. Oh, here's some 516s. Sure, 516s fits on that T20 nut right there. Oh, let's throw in a couple Phillips heads, maybe a flat head in there. What's the deal? Can you just make it all one thing? Why do you keep doing this to us? Quit it. Oh, and then I still got to go to the store, and hopefully they got a pulley that's going to match this, and I can make this work. And lucky for me, I have all this apart. You know how many pictures I took? I took one picture. And you know what picture that was? Was how to route the belt back around this pulley here. So it's the reassembly of all this. I may pick up this dryer and go throw it in the damn dumpster. But anyways, enough of that complaining. I really hope all of y'all have a great weekend. And thanks for watching. See you later.